Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Postman tutorial, we are going to discuss about the collaboration within your teams if you're working within Postman. Now, usually it is highly unlikely that you are the only person within the team and in your project just doing the API testing, right? So there might be more people if you're working in enterprises, there will be a team that will be working together to document the API test cases depending on the features, right? And if you guys are automating, there will be a need to collaborate and then there will there is also need to basically merge everything together, merge all the test cases together and then run all those test cases from the CI server, for example, Jenk Jenkins or Bamboo, okay? So now how your team will be able to collaborate, okay? So the first approach would be, say, for example, very manual approach, okay? So how we have been doing till now is you go ahead and say for example i am working in a team and then there are another four people working in the team so if i have to share whatever work i have done i'll simply go ahead okay and export the collection okay so i can go ahead and say export the collection all right and then export this and i'll say okay this is the collection new okay dot json okay and then i'll simply re remove this one there okay and save it okay now this will be saved on my machine now i'll go ahead and send this particular file the json file the collection file with my uh, with my team member okay so i'll email them or i'll share share it on the shared drive and then they will go ahead okay and then they'll go ahead and import okay so they'll say within the postman they'll say import okay so simply you can go ahead and click on import to import any of the collection right and then you can simply drag and drop the file from here okay or you simply select the files okay so i'll click on the file the file that we have imported okay and the file that i imported was this the new it was the json file right and the other person whom i'll share this file json file they'll go ahead and follow this process to import it okay so as soon as you'll see that this collection already exists i can import it as a copy or i can replace the existing collection that i have but what the problem here is that if I go ahead and replace whatever existing collection I have, the merge will not happen, right? So it will basically, uh, so say for example, I was working on something, okay? And then I shared that particular collection with every member of the team. Everyone imported that, but then they also added few more test cases. They exported the JSON file and they shared the updated JSON file with me with more test cases that they have added. Now, when I'll go ahead and import and do something like that, it will say collection exists. And if I say, you know, replace, it will basically replace. If I have done any more test cases or I have added any more test cases, which I haven't shared with them, then if I replace, it will replace all the work that I have done. Okay. So this is the big problem with the manual work there. So that is where version control system becomes really important. And Postman has some very cool features to do all of the version controlling things, right? So this is one of the manual way, but this is not a efficient way, right? So I can, you know, I usually don't recommend replacing it. I'll simply say import as a copy unless until you are absolutely sure that you are not going to or you are not losing any of the existing data okay so i'll say import as a copy and then you'll see uh, a copy has been imported there and all the new test cases or anything that has been added from other team members will be available here okay now the problem here is that somebody has to go ahead and merge every test cases that is being developed by the team and export one single copy to run it on the ci server okay but that is again a manual process and it is very tedious process so if you do not want to go ahead for for the enterprise version or the paid version of postman still this is doable it is not a problem but in that particular case somebody within your team has to take the responsibility of owning that export and then merging all the test cases that are being documented by other team members and making one particular copy okay of the test cases right or having an organized list of the collections which has different features so for example you can have a particular uh, collection which has a particular feature and that feature test cases are owned by only one particular person right and then you assign another person another feature who is just automating that particular feature right so then there is a clear segregation of duties and then you can manage it manually okay but that's not highly recommended that's doable that's possible with a bit of manual effort and I'll explain that as well when I go ahead and import or try to 
uh, check in this code into the bit bucket and you will be able to follow along okay but how we can basically go ahead and use the postman team collaboration feature right so now in order to use the team collaboration feature so at the moment if you see the workspaces that i have right so you'll see that these are the work workspaces and then uh, there there is no team workspace as such right so if you go ahead and click on this upgrade here right so you'll see that postman works best with the teams right so you will see that you can collaborate in real time and establish single source of truth for your api workflows by creating it okay so in order to collaborate within the team the best thing is to create a free team and it is free for three users already so you can go ahead and create a team okay so i'll simply go ahead and create a free team and it will set up one particular team for me wherein we have created okay so let us go ahead and set up the team so you we can basically invite new members in the team to collaborate right so i'll go ahead and set up the team and it will open the web version of the postman wherein we can go ahead and manage the users within the team. okay so you'll see that there is a name that has been provided to the team right so i'll simply say okay this is our cv academy team okay and then you can change the logo you can see the url here so i'll simply say okay i'll say rcv academy and this will be the url so rcvacademy.postman.co or i can simply remove hyphen from there okay and then you will see that get started with the existing collections right so i can basically so this is the team so now i can select the collections that i have already created which were in my private workspace and i can move them to the team workspace right so help your team get started by moving or importing your api projects to your new team workspace right so what when we create a team it will create a new workspace which is the team workspace you will see that team workspace got created previously it was not there right now these were these were the workspaces which were private or more of a user workspace which were specific to myself now because in a particular project there will be many members that will be working together so that's why we created a team and we'll add a members to those teams okay so now i'll select the collections and let me move this particular collection to the team to this particular rcv academy team workspace right and whichever you want to select you can basically you know either you can select all whichever you want to select you can select from here and then confirm okay and then there is other option which is team discovery so team discovery lets people from your organization see your team and request to join right so this is more of a uh, organization level feature if there is a a uh, valid domain or your organization domain that you have set up then you can enable team discovery since i haven't set up any valid domain right which is basically for example in my case it is rcvacademy.com if i go ahead and have the premium account and set this up i'll be able to set that up team discovery okay so that is for that is what team discovery is for so i have done all of those configurations i'll simply go ahead and continue and then you can invite people right so invite people to the team so i'll simply go ahead and enter the email or i can share this particular invite with the people and they will request to join this particular team okay so i'll simply copy this particular link and whosoever members are there within my team i'll share this link or if you know the email address of your team members right so you, which you will definitely know right so you'll simply put the email address there and then continue and the invitations will be sent to those members and they'll be able to join by clicking on the link that is sent to their emails okay so i've copied the link anyways so i'll ask other team members to basically join using this particular link okay and then i'll simply go ahead and continue okay so here i am and which space i am now i am on the rcv academy team workspace and this is the particular collection that i copied from the previous workspace that i owned personally into the team workspace right now here you will see that because this is a team workspace i can see the invite here as well i can simply go ahead and click on the invite and it will give me the pop up here to send or provide the email id there okay and then i can send the invite so let me quickly go ahead and say rcv tutorials and i'll say at gmail.com okay and then here you can choose the role all right so you'll see that you have the editor and viewer okay and now here you can see that available only on professional and enterprise plans right so basically in the free plan when you 
have or when you want to join or you want to invite the team members everyone will be invited as a admin okay so it, it has clearly disabled every other option so we'll simply choose the admin okay and send this invite so you'll see the invitation has been sent and should get an email here okay so you'll see that you are invited to to rcv academy team workspace right this is the email that the team member will get on their official email id obviously this is the gmail id that we have okay so if i go ahead and click on open workspace right so this will basically open the workspace right and then we have to basically go ahead if that person doesn't have the postman account they will have to create the postman account okay so here i'll simply put the username as one okay and then the password and then create account to join your team right and if the person has already an account they can simply sign in instead of creating that choose never there and then it will ask for the name so i'll simply say rama k and then the role all right so i'll simply choose the role okay so you'll see that now the person that has been invited okay is here and they can basically import uh, an existing file or in, in start with the collection template this is just a pop-up so i'll close it and you'll see that this person now has access to this workspace okay and you will see that the collection is available to that particular person all right and what the benefit of this is basically you will see that now we have two team members okay so you'll see that this is this particular uh, account the new member that has been invited and this is this is the login for the person who has invited right and you will see that the team members here so this is this is the workspace and now if there are multiple or if if there are four or five team members they can go ahead and everyone can work independently on this particular collection right so they can keep adding the collection and details accordingly right and then they will be able to say for example i go ahead i am a new person right so i am logged in as a rama k okay so now if i go ahead and do some changes here right so say for example i add more test cases okay so within the test i go ahead and i add the test cases there so is that and i'll go to the snippets and let's say i add a test status code test all right here status code okay and then as soon as i'll save it right so in this get all issue type now this host name is not resolved because i haven't set set up the environment or enable the environment here now this new test that has been added by Rama K will be now available or will be updated for everyone in the team. Now, this is the next user, right? So, if they go to the test there, okay, they should be having that update available here for them. Okay, so this is the benefit of using the default team feature within Postman because it streamlines a lot of the overheads that you are going to do manually, right? For example exporting the collection sharing it with the team members then they do something then they share it with you you have to merge and one person has to make sure that they are only the ones who are checking in the the code uh, to the version control repository right so all of that will be basically streamlined if you are having the team feature within post the next very important thing when you are collaborating or using the team feature is that your team will be able to comment on a particular request or the collection level and then also resolve those comments right so basically say for example i'm on the collection here and then this particular user can simply go ahead and click on this comments icon here okay and it will open the comment window right you will see this particular icon it will open the comment video window and i'll say and i i'll ask a particular member right so i'll simply say i can mention them all right so i can say you know a, a new member okay so it's not let's say it is picking up this particular user let me refresh and see if the new user is picked up i'll go to this workspace and say for example at the collection level i want to mention some other user right so which is the this particular user rama k right so i, th I think because i'm using the same email that's why it is not picking up that particular new user here but you can mention you can use at mention and mention the name of the person within the organization you have all the users and emails synced so this won't be a problem there so i can ask something right so i can say can you please update you know some tests whatever okay so and then i can comment all right so this comment you will see that has you know 
post it and then it can be basically you know copy the link it can be edited deleted and then other person in the team can basically if you have mentioned they can go ahead and say yeah this is done all right or they, they can mention you and they'll say okay uh, this is done right and send the reply okay so this is basically you know the the advantage and this is possible this commenting is possible at the collection level folder level or at the particular request level uh, so if i if i am on, on this particular request i can go ahead and comment at the request level as well so i'll simply go ahead and click on comment and here i can add the comment that okay can you please add these test but test or can you add uh, you know your review comments about these particular tests that have been added by other team members right because now these test or whatever work is being done here is visible to the whole team so you can go ahead and collaborate on the fly by just commenting at whatever level you require within the post collection in the team workspace right so that is the overall benefit and in order to invite more members you simply you know you can go ahead and invite more members from the team workspace okay simply by clicking on this icon provide the email and by default in the free account you will have only the admin role and you just provide the email and send the invite when the person onboards they'll be having access to this particular team workspace and everyone in the team can work in a collaborative way okay so this is brief about the collaboration feature within postman how you are going to use this collaboration feature within postman to work efficient okay so this collaboration feature within postman is a paid feature it is free only for up to three users right but in case you do not want to sign up or your organization doesn't have the paid feature still things are manageable using the export file format once you and within your team you manage everything or responsibilities within your team and have that segregation of duties so that only one person merges all the test cases and then sets up the ci server and all of that okay so that's all for this particular video i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching